Washington, D.C., a city of power and patriotism, and at its heart, a complex of museums with secrets dark and strange. How to rule the road. How to take a trip to Mars. And how to take down a legendary fighter. Secrets hidden in plain sight inside the Smithsonian Institution. In a nation whose motto could be, the bigger the better, the Smithsonian Institution is as big as it gets. It's comprised of 19 museums and galleries that host over 30 million visitors every year. As a single institution, the Smithsonian is truly a museum of everything. Much of it seen from a distinctly American point of view. From pop culture, to technology, to war. But the Smithsonian isn't simply a showcase for the nation's victories. Because in one corner of the Air and Space Museum, you will find an American nemesis. The Japanese Zero fighter plane. On December 7, 1942, the Zero was the killing machine of the infamous attack on Pearl Harbor. With great stealth, they maneuvered this large battle fleet with four aircraft carriers close enough to launch a strike. Uh, the Americans weren't expecting it. During and after the battle, squadrons of Zero fighter planes ruled the skies over the Pacific. Why were they such a powerful force? That is our museum's secret. Our story begins in Houston, Texas, during the city's annual air show. Thousands turn out to see precision flying and modern warplanes and to witness historic reenactments of aerial combat. A dozen vintage American fighters will take part in today's events, as will several U.S. trainers that have been modified to look like Zeros. Stand-ins are necessary because so few Zeros have survived. 